You're watching UNICEF Television. For this pastoral community of Kapua Village in Tukana, northwestern Kenya, drought is something that they know all too well. It has imperiled their lives for the past 10 years, and this year is one of the worst. After all their livestock had succumbed to thirst and hunger, the once nomadic herders of Kapua have turned their village into a food distribution point, where the poorest and the weakest gather and await for food aid. But it has been two months since food was last distributed. We eat the fruits from the palm trees because there is nothing left to eat. We eat them every day, but it is not good for us because they give us diarrhea and sometimes we diarrhea blood. The children also eat them, and they are the most affected because they eat and the feces refuse to come out. Malnutrition rates among children in some parts of Tukana have skyrocketed to 37%. Some of these mothers had walked since 3 o'clock in the morning to get to this health post where their children can be treated for malnutrition. During his visit to Tukana, UNICEF Executive Director Anthony Lake is moved by stories of women walking for hours in search of water and children surviving on one meal a day made only of palm fruits. I've seen heart-wrenching things and, oddly enough, admirable things. I cannot admire enough people living under circumstances like this. And one of them said that more is being done for the camps than is being done for them here. And I think we need to hear that message. To respond to the crisis that has left nearly 11 million people in need of humanitarian aid, UNICEF is appealing for more than 30 million U.S. dollars. The goal is to scale up its life-saving interventions, particularly in nutrition, water and sanitation, and immunization to save the lives of the most vulnerable children across the Horn of Africa. In Nairobi, Kenya, this is Kunli reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.